I still can't believe how much things have changed. We hadn't heard from the Klingons for years. And now we have. Now, the Federation is at war. That was probably the last thing on my mind when I got here. It was the same for you, right? We came to Starfleet Academy to become explorers. Not all of us are fighters. Some of us are engineers, healers, scientists. We've been working hard on the ground and in space. We learned how things worked on a starship. And we learned how to work as a team. We've been getting ready to boldly go where no one has gone before. And today's your big day. Today you graduate and begin your career as a Starfleet officer. It's gonna be amazing. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. Are you excited? I am very excited. Pretty soon we'll be reporting for duty on the cadet training cruise. Are you kidding? I set up a triple layer alarm sequence to notify me when the postings went up. I think I knew before some of Captain Schaefer's staff. Two words, chief, engineer. Right? I'm still not sure if this isn't one of Finnegan's pranks. He's done stuff like this, you know. Ugh, poor Jim Kirk. Oh, uh, before I forget, Lifeson is looking for you. Actually, I think I see him over there. You should probably find out what he wants. Come on, this way. Here's Lifeson, one of the best tactical cadets in your class. Uh, oh, uh, oh, after Evelyn, of course. <laughs> Thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. Seriously, I might not have made the cadet cruise if it weren't for you. I hope Schaefer recognizes all you've done to lead our class. Have you got your assignment yet? Hmm. Well, Lieutenant DeSilna has all of the assignments now. 
I'd see what she knows. Before you do that, do me a favor and talk to Ian. He's got good news, and he won't settle down until he shares it with everyone, including you. Oh, there's Ian. Let's find out what his big news is. Cadets Quan and Peart, with a combined IQ of 231, which, I heard, is almost up to Tamav's rating. That's the rumor, anyway. Oh, hey. I've been looking for you. Yes! I took the linguistics final again, and I aced it! <laughs> you and me both. It wouldn't have happened if I didn't follow your advice. You saw that I wasn't at my best that day and told me to give it another shot. So, I did. That perfect score really made a difference. Now I'm qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Thanks. Always good to have options, right? Kiro took your advice too. I think it worked out for him since he's slightly less scowly than usual. But let me know if I'm right, okay? I think I see Kiro over there. Come on. Here we have the smartest person in your class, or so I've heard. It's not entirely fair. Kiro is a super genius and he's built like a brick shit. Uh, uh, yep, yes. Cadet, it is agreeable to be in your presence. Your advice regarding Federation history was advantageous. It allowed me to pass the final test with satisfactory marks. I am pleased. In the interest of camaraderie, I now inform you that Captain Schaefer is still selecting the senior staff for the upcoming training crews. There is a 78.4% chance that you will be selected for a position, based on my current statistical models. Lieutenant Tassil may have more conclusive data on the matter. Come on, this way. I'll wait out here. Tassilum should be inside. Good afternoon, Cadet. How may I be of assistance? It is. I will access your assignment data now. One moment. Hmm. Fascinating. Your assignment is not listed. Inquiries on the matter have been directed to Captain Schaefer himself. That remains to be seen. I suggest you report to Captain Schaefer and ask him personally. He is in the office behind me. Good to see you, Cadet. Today is the big day. Congratulations. Judging by that look on your face, I trust this visit concerns your assignment on the training cruise. Ah, uh, well, you can relax. I'm happy to report that you won't be my new bilge officer. <laughs> Far from it. There is a matter I'd like to address, however. Your academic record is impressive. But I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. Can I shed some light on that for me? The Federation is at war with the Klingon Empire. I shouldn't need to remind you that Klingons enjoy close combat with their enemies. That in mind, I want everyone on my senior staff to complete that program. No exception. I did indeed. There's a place for a cadet like you at my bridge, which you finish that phaser course. My chief engineer and tactical officer have programmed a training simulator for you. I look forward to seeing your results. Cadets Tilly and Surveyor, respectively. They've been working on the simulation for me for some time now. Interesting pair, those two. Some of the staff question bringing Tilly along on the cruise as a junior, but her professors assure me that she's up to the task. Indeed, she'll meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the training, and I'll see you when you're finished. That's all for now, Cadet. Dismissed.
I still can't believe I got the chief engineer spot. Yes, it's just for the cadet training crews, but still, how many juniors get to go on the cruise, let alone as a department head? This is exciting. <laughs> okay. Whew. Deep breath. I'm good. <laughs> Enough about me. Uh, where did you end up? Yeah? I was wondering why he wanted us to set up the program for you. Now I know. Hey, I should warn you, it can get pretty lively. With the Klingons and aggression, then... I should probably stop telling you about the program now. Oh, no, don't worry. You'll do fine. There's no doubt in my mind. Come on, I'll take you there. Savea's waiting over at the simulator. You know how cranky she gets with people, right? Finnegan actually graduated. I guess the Irish are lucky after all. to a constitution class. Not even you. That's crazy. How many times did you run the Kobayashi Maru? Kirk's up to two now. Better hurry or we'll lose our spot. Oh, I hate running. Uh-oh. There's Ev. And she's looking impatient. There you are. About time. Program's loaded and ready to go. I hope this is your lucky simulator. It's been nothing but bad luck for Kirk. <laughs> Yeah, those are pretty useful in phaser training, huh? Too bad tricorders don't have a stun setting. You'd get top marks. Kidding! I'm kidding. The phasers are in the armory by the holodecks. Grab one there. <sighs> Running is the worst. Just go to the center of the room. Choose your pain.
Nice work, Cadet. A few points below Sever's personal best, but it was your first try. You'll have plenty of opportunities to knock her from her perch at the top of the list once we're underway. That I do, Cadet. First officer station is yours. That's if you want it, of course. The bilge officer spot is still open. Thought you might say that. You've done well here, Cadet. I expect that trend to continue, onward and upward, throughout your career. Likewise. I'll see you on the bridge then. And congratulations. Wow, look at you, first officer. You're gonna do a great job. Congratulations. That thing the captain said about the bilge officer spot was pretty funny, though. I mean, we don't even have those anymore. Wait, do we? Anyway, first officer. How does it feel? Seriously, Captain Schaefer didn't make that decision lightly. He believes in you, just like me. Even though you got me blown up in the Kobayashi Maru. Awkward. <laughs> well, we should get going to the shuttle bay. Everybody's waiting for the ceremonial send-off toast. Guess who gets to give that? Now hear this. All cadets report to Shuttle Bay to prepare for departure. Okay! The rest of the senior staff is waiting just ahead. Time for your big speech. How are you gonna play it? Inspirational? Heartwarming? That could be good. Hey, make Savea cry like just a single tear. Anyway, I'll meet you at the bar. No pressure, you're gonna be great. Are you ready to head to the ship? I can't believe we're finally doing this. Ooh, 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 look over there. That's the Glen, one of the new Crossfield class ships. No one really knows much about her or her capabilities. Well, Starfleet Academy, anyway. Maybe we'll work on a ship like that someday. For now, our ship's here. She's a Malakowski class, Captain Schaefer's pride and joy. Good speed for her class, definitely maneuverable. A stout, solid, battle-proven design, for sure. I can't wait to see what she can do. Let's land and find out. We need to check in with the deck officer first, then head to our stations. Oh man, I cannot wait to see the engine room. My engine room. Yeah! Sylvia Tilly, acting chief engineer, reporting for duty. Welcome aboard. What's your name, cadet? Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Acting first officer. You're all set. Report to Captain Schaefer on the bridge. He's been expecting you. Use the turbo lift behind me. It'll take you directly there.
Ah, there you are. Computer, note the executive officer has reported for duty in the ship's log. Welcome aboard, XR. You're right on time. All decks have reported in. We're ready to get underway. Let's start things simple by getting the old girl out of dry dock, huh? Contact dock control and get clearance to depart. After we're cleared, close the shuttle bay doors and disable the tractor moorings. Dock control has cleared us to depart. Acknowledged. Carry on. Shuttle bay doors are closed. Acknowledged. Carry on. Res, take us out. One quarter impulse. Duly noted, XO. Erez, take us out. Maximum thrusters. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Acknowledged, Helm. Set a course for Vulcan. Warp 4. Course laid in, sir. Engage. Stress call from the SS Fortuna. Audio only. Put them through, comms. This is the Fortuna. Can you hear me? So, uh, warp core is leaving. We could really use some help here. Let them know we're on our way. Helm, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA, three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir. Sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Fortuna. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, comms. XO, let's discuss the situation. Well, XO, you heard the distress call. What are your recommendations? Afraid not. This is the real deal. First Starfleet regs, we're the closest ship to the Fortuna, so it's our duty to assist. Not usually, no. Good instincts. How would you proceed here? Good call. There's something about this that's not sitting right with me. Agreed. Yellow alert. Surveyor, bring the shields up. Get down to the transporter room, XO. I want you to oversee the rescue efforts from there. Desmond, the Fortuna should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid block. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beating them over now. Klingons! Desmond? Come in! What happened? Desmond? Hold on. We're reading disruptor fire in the transporter room. And Klingons are beaming in on multiple decks. All hands, this is the captain. Repel borders. I repeat, repel borders. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find, and then repel any borders you come across. You let us worry about that. Right now, I need you doing what you can to get those Klingons off my ship. Bet you're glad you took that phaser course now, huh? 
Shoot straight and stay safe down there. Over here, Exo. We need you to unlock the armory. You have to enter the command code. Grab a rifle. We need to deal with the Klingons. I think they were going to engineering. Better hurry. There's a lot of them. Security to engineering. We are under attack. Klingon boarding parties on multiple decks, XO. Our security teams are spread thin. I need you to get to engineering and keep it secure. It's bound to be a priority target for the enemy. Got your back.
You have no idea how happy I am to see you. <laughs> they were looking for something in here. Can't imagine what, though. I mean, they have warp and impulse tech. What else would be in engineering? Especially since the ship's a complete mess, thanks to them. Is there a part they didn't shoot? Sorry, I, I could really use your help, since you're here. As I was saying, the ship's taken a lot of damage. I'll do what I can to get the essentials online, but I could use some help. See anything you could do in here? Okay. I need you to get the structural integrity field out of the red. It's sitting at 15%, and that's, well, bad. I need you to boost the power flow and distribution rate at the two consoles back there. You'll need to stabilize the overall calibration, too, at the central console here. Got it? Okay, warp core stable. Life support is... Safety fields engaged. Shipwide comms online. Glad you're still with us. We could use a hand up here. We've taken casualties, and the Klingons could send more boarding parties at any time. Do what you need to do down there, then report to the bridge. Head back to the bridge. We'll cover this deck. Who is in command here? Speak now! I'm Captain Schaefer, and you are? I am Jaula of House Wuka. Surrender now, Captain. Why are you still able? Request denied. Get off my ship! Get off my ship! If you insist, Captain! Don't do it! on ship. Your medical assistance was adequate and necessary. I thank you. That was intense. Klingons. We just fought Klingons. Done for. Thanks. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. I owe you one. What, what happened here? Incoming transmission from the Klingons. Like one. 
Okay, wh what do we do now? We're still here. Most of us, anyway. The captain. Look, the captain knew what was at stake. He gave the order, and you followed it. If you hadn't, we'd probably all be dead now. So, you're the captain now. We're with you. Let's make his sacrifice count.
All decks have reported in. We took some casualties and sick bay is full. All systems have taken damage, but some were hit worse than others. Life support is stable. Past that, it's not exactly optimal. Working on it, but something's jamming our long-range comms on all frequencies. Still running under cloak. We knocked them around pretty good before they slinked off with their tail between their legs. That said, we're in rough shape ourselves. Damage control teams are assigned. We've put out all the fires and started patching the hole breaches, but it's gonna take a while. We got it. We'll get the critical systems back online as soon as we're able, Captain. Still reading their distress signal. I can break through the jamming at short range. Shall I hail them? Opening hailing frequencies now, Captain. Greetings, uh, Captain. Uh, thank you for coming to my aid. I must apologize. I sent the distress signal under duress. I'm sure you'll do the same with a Klingon disruptor pointed at your head. Quite so, Captain. Our Klingon friends took pains to make my plight look convincing, to the point of damaging my warp drive beyond function. At the risk of wearing out my welcome, would you be so kind to assist me? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. sure the Klingons sabotaged them when they boarded us. They wanted to strand us here. Tamav is installing our spare injectors, but we're three short. Without those, we can't go to warp. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here, Captain. There's wreckage throughout the system. I recommend scanning the derelicts nearby. We may be able to find and recover intact plasma injectors from the wreckage. Blast off the outer casings on those units, and we can get what we need.
gonna need a little time to get these installed. I'd rather not breach the core after we go to warp because of the whole system meltdown. And that can happen with dicey injectors. Right. I'm on it, Captain. While engineering deals with the warp core, we're stuck here. We need critical systems back online ASAP. It's a sure bet the Klingons are making repairs. And they aren't as safety concerned as we are. We might be back and shooting faster than we'd like. We're on it, Captain. I located several Klingon military satellites nearby. Ian thinks we'll be able to reach Starfleet if we destroy the satellites, and I agree. Besides, we could use a little more target practice. I send the distress signal. That Klingon ship took some real damage during the fight. I bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. No argument here. I'd rather not get blown up by Klingons on a cadet cruise. Or, you know, ever, really. <laughs> Scanning now. Oh, yes! I found it! Sending you the data now. We can trace their plasma signature right back to the source. It'll show up on the map. It's pretty far from us. We should travel at full impulse to reach it. This will temporarily take power from the other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Baka! Your death will be swift! Puh -puh. Decloaking, Captain! Transmission, Captain. It's a Starfleet vessel, the Subrova. This is Captain Thykir Shran. We've received your signal. What happened here? I see. Ever since they acquired their cloaking device, they've been getting mauled. 
even for Klingons. You're lucky to be alive, Cadet. Which reminds me, you're on Captain Shaver's ship. Where is he? And did you follow his orders? I see. Unfortunate. I served with Anton on the Endeavor. He was a fine officer. He was more like him. I take it you're the acting captain then? Very well. Schaefer didn't place trust in his officers lightly. If he chose you to be his XO, he knew you could get the job done. I'll expect the same. Our first order of business is getting your ship and crew to safety. We'll escort you to make sure you get back in one piece. I'm sure they are. And if they're foolish enough to come back looking for a fight, they'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Zabrova out. Another Starfleet vessel when we received your distress signal. That vessel is still not responding to hails. Considering what happened to you, I'm beginning to fear the worst. I'm going to investigate, and I want you to join me. The Klingons are up to no good in that system. I'll need backup. I know it's asking a lot. We're a war. Consider this a field promotion. You have your orders. over something she thought we had on board. Shouldn't we be chasing her instead? <sighs> You're right. You're right. For all we know, this Ja'ula could be behind what happened to that other ship. We should help them. I'll get back down to engineering, Captain. We are ready to go to warp when you are. We've arrived, Captain. I'm reading the Ticonderoga dead ahead. Our orders are to make contact with them and find out why they haven't responded to our hails. On it. 
compensating for local interference now. Hailing frequency is open, Captain. Can't say I was expecting either of you out here. Care to fill me in? We weren't able to contact you earlier. We were escorting these cadets back to the Soul System after they were ambushed by Klingons. Under the circumstances, I thought it wise to investigate your situation here. Apologies. I suspect the local anomalies are interfering with our comm systems. I'm sorry to ask this, but where is Captain Schaefer? That's quite the story, Cadet. The loss of Captain Schaefer is a blow. He was one of our best. I realize this is a trial by fire for all of you. You're doing well. Hang in there. Starfleet has received reports of Klingon activity in the region. We've been ordered to check things out here. They might be hiding in the cluster and using this as a staging ground. As you can see, the area plays havoc with our systems. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the area. We could use your help. If all three ships collect data, we should be able to complete this quickly and deal with any Klingons we might come across. Any questions? This may be the worst simple trip to Vulcan ever. Bet you wish you were back at the Academy, huh, Tilly? large pockets of radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Durant here. Are you seeing the same ETA radiation levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. My science officer believes that performing a tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans and then report back. The deflector is realigned to emit a reverse tachyon pulse wave, Captain. Bypass like a Christmas tree, Captain. We can't take much more combat. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not a miracle worker. Ticonderoga is under attack. Use full impulse to reach her quickly.
system and warn them about the Klingons. The Sabroba is better equipped to hold off further Klingon attacks and assist the Ticonderoga here. Do what we can to delay them, and it'll be up to you to warn the people of Corvan. We have to make our way to Corvan as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn them. Are you ready to go?
Looks like we got here before the Klingons, Captain. We should make the most of this advantage. What are your orders? I've managed to establish comms with the colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Putting him through now. Hello, Captain. What can I do for you? Run there, Bob Yuki. Your signal's breaking up. Did you say Klingons? What about them? We just lost contact with Corvan 2, Captain. Something's blocking all subspace signals in this area. There's a comm satellite nearby. It should boost our signal so we can warn the ships and the colony. The SAT uses our security protocols. We should be able to access it. Hails are still blocked. The Klingons may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Orders, Captain? Not from orbit, Captain. The Klingons are disrupting transporter operations at the local level. Colonial evacuations on a mass scale could be... problematic. We may have to try to hold the Klingons here until Starfleet reinforcements arrive. Klingon forces inbound on an attack vector, Captain! Those civilians won't last long against Klingons. We need to help them. Target shields have failed. Short-range comms again. Long-range signals are still blocked. I've updated the colony. However, the Klingons have started to send down attack squads. What are your orders? Captain, the civilians are trying to fight the Klingon landing craft. I think I can break through the Klingon jamming and hail the civilians. Warning. Target shield. Safely warped out of the system, Captain.
Binders won't be able to hold off the Klingons for long. I'm reading more enemy ships on long-range sensors as well. It won't be long before the colony is overrun. I recommend we beam down to help the miners while we can. Oh, this isn't good. According to our readings, over half the colony has been overrun by the Klingons. At the rate they're moving, this area will fall in less than an hour. Right. Lead the way, Captain. I've got your back. Leave the gate closed! We have to get out of here! And leave the others to die? Starfleet's here! Oh, thank goodness. Thanks. We didn't think anyone got our distress signal. Glad that's not true. We were about to surrender. We didn't have any weapons. We do have some spare armor suits for you and your officers, though. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Chief Smythe and some of the others are still in there. I know it's asking a lot, but if you can, please, save them. Here are the codes to the gate. You have to save the Chief and the others. Press the U key to view your status, or the status of your ship and bridge officers.
Sign is a Broba or Ticonderoga. family here. Might have eaten a disruptor place by now. Not to be critical, but uh, where are the rest of them? Oh, that's, that's not good. We're in big trouble. These Klingons mean business. They've locked us out of the mine. Probably down there robbing us blind while we speak. No way we can beam anyone down to stop them. And they've probably killed all our security there by now. Glad to hear it. We're definitely going to need that help. There's some gear in those crates. Use it. solution, but it could be what we need to keep the Klingons from getting any more of their troops down there. I know, right? Well, first things first. I'm reading a device at the base of the mine entrance. If you can set up a jumper between it and the main command console, you'll be able to reroute the field's power flow. That'll open up the mine for you and set up things for my plan. Klingons coming. We're about to have some really unpleasant company. Let me your communicator. If your engineer can walk me through it, I'll, I'll get the job done. Just keep them off me, okay? Right. Here they come. Let them have it! Okay. I need you to pull the action, invert it, and jam it back in. Trust me. There. I think I got it. Now manually cycle the power while forcing a short through the jumper. Oh, and don't electrocute yourself. Uh, please. Good job, Chief. The field looks stable. 
system is still clear, Captain, but those Klingon ships are getting closer. The faster you can finish up down there, the better. The least I could do. Thank you for putting your lives on the line here. We won't forget it. You didn't have to come help us, at least all by yourselves. We're really happy you did. You've got it. There's no way I'm sitting around and letting the Klingons take this place without a fight. Oh, and sorry about that old laser in the face thing earlier. Won't happen again. The Klingons worry about me, not the other way around. Let's go. Under 
still on their way. We could use your help up here when you're ready to beam up. Captain, the colony's security field is holding strong. There's still a lot of Klingon ships heading our way, though. We need to leave, and soon. But there's a problem. Civilian ships travel through here frequently. We need to warn them about the Klingons, or they could warp into the middle of a war zone. Absolutely. We could even remotely program the signal on a satellite as we leave the system, which we should soon. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. arm until the situation became untenable. After we disengaged, we were able to reach Starfleet and call for backup. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. We can't afford to lose this system to the Klingons. Don't mention it. You'd do the same were our situations reversed. I believe Captain Schaefer would be proud of you and your crew, Captain. Your efforts to defend the Federation are commendable, and my report will indicate this. Apart from your valor in combat, I'm particularly impressed by your work with the local satellites. Turning them into distant warning beacons was quite clever. Those signals will save a lot of lives. Indeed. I'm sure Starfleet Command has detailed plans for defending Corvan. For now, however, 
Your work here is done. You're to report to the Soul System with the civilians you've rescued. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Kensington for debriefing. Fletcher would make a fine addition to your senior staff. I'll make a note of it in my report to Starfleet Command. You've done well under extraordinary circumstances. Anton's ship is in good hands. Keep up the good work. Shran out. You've done all Congratulations, Lieutenant. Let's get to safety while we still can. After everything we went through out there, going back to Professor Shermer's advanced physics class doesn't seem as scary now. I mean, what's string theory compared to dodging Klingon disruptor blasts or trying to keep a warp core stable? Speaking of scary, think Admiral Kensington's gonna go easy on you? The ship did kind of get beat up. A little. Uh, okay, a lot.
The Admiral's office is this way. Thanks for coming. You've been through a lot. Starfleet Command appreciates your efforts, especially at the Corvin system. I do as well. I've read the official reports, but I'd like to hear your take on it all, in your own words. Hmm, this Ja'ula has become quite a thorn in our side. You're fortunate. Very few have survived combat with her. Our agents are on the hunt for Ja'ula as we speak. Bringing in the sister of Takuvma will be quite a blow to Klingon morale. Rest assured, you're not the only one who wants her to pay for her crimes. Neither do I, unfortunately. Well then, based on what I'm seeing here, you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs now. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her center chair. The job's yours if you want it. Yes, under normal circumstances, it would take years of work to get your own command. But these aren't normal circumstances. The war isn't going well for us. We don't have the luxury of waiting years before putting good officers on the line. We need them out there right now. We need you. Yes, Corvin would have been a disaster if it weren't for you and your crew. Starfleet wants to recognize that. Therefore, as of now, I'm making your promotion and command official. I see the same things in you that Schaefer did. Honor his name and make us all proud. I wouldn't recommend it. I have it on good authority. I'm quite a terror when crossed. On to more mundane duties, hmm? You'll need to check in with the tailor and update your uniform in a manner appropriate to your new rank. After that, acquire a shuttle for your ship. When you're finished, return to me for new orders. You don't look unhappy. And that's good, right? This way. This way. It really suits you. The shipyard officer is this way. Looks like you're all set. Hey, don't keep the Admiral waiting.
Congratulations on your promotion. I will let you know when I have a new task for you. Our victory at Pryor's World was hard fought, and we took a thrashing in the process. We've gained some momentum from this win, but our position at Pryor's could become tenuous if the Klingon should return for a rematch. Captain Gabriel Lorca of the USS Buran is on station at Pryor's World, and he's requested assistance while they handle mop-up operations there. I believe you and your crew are ready for action, yes? Lorca is a fine captain, tough but fair, with years of experience in the field. Follow his lead and you'll do well. Report to him at Pryor's World for further instructions. Kensington out. I have a mission for you. USS Cicada, 
Switch to frequency 228.7 to adjust for ion storm interference. This is the Shinano. Advise keeping shields up. Cloaked Klingon vessels are still testing our defenses. Let's do this quickly. Don't want our shields down for long. Thanks. Our supplies were low after retaking Pryor's world. One more assault and we would have been at critical levels in several key resources. I expect the Cicada is waiting for supplies too. I hope you have what they need. Shields now. We are ready to receive supply. Engineering has confirmed that all expected hardware has been delivered. Thank you. We shall begin repairs at once. Our computer systems have received significant damage from Klingon assaults. I believe the Baran is waiting for you to report in, so I will keep you no longer. SS Baran. Welcome to Pryor's world. The captain has requested that you transport over to the Baran to speak in person. Truth be told, we're not certain our hailing frequencies are completely secure. It's, uh, it's a long story. Let's just say the Klingons had a few tricks up their sleeve during battle. Nice to finally meet you face to face. I'm Captain Gabriel Lorca. Welcome to the Baran. This is my first officer, Commander Ellen Landry. Sorry to hear about Captain Schaefer. He was one of our best. Agreed. A damn fine captain. Though from what we've heard about what happened at Corvan, his ship's in good hands. Ah, and my somewhat tardy Chief of Security, Omna Patel. Uh, apologies, Captain. Welcome aboard. We appreciate the assistance. Engineering is this way, if you'll follow me. What took you so long? Ah, <sighs> you try booking a reception hall during prime wedding season. <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive. My warrior. Braver than a hundred Klingons. Kapla! We better catch up. Uh, before the captain throws us in the brig with the Klingons. We've been mopping up here, after our scrap with the Klingons. The Klingons did not surrender Pryor's world lightly. Cleaning up the planet-based missile launchers was satisfying. The Baran is currently holding some Klingon prisoners of war. Prisoners we plan to deliver to a secure location before we ran into a snag. Lieutenant Kerwin, I have someone I'd like you to meet. Welcome aboard. Thanks for lending us a hand. Mind taking a look at something here? I'm analyzing some issues with the Baran's critical systems, and a fresh perspective might shed some light. Somehow the Klingons infected our computer systems with a particularly nasty virus during the battle. Another house Mokai trick by the looks of it. It's in several key systems. Sensors, shields, weapons. Ugh. Right now, we can't rely on any of those remaining at operational status. 
If they come back for a rematch, we could wind up blind and defenseless. Excellent. We collected a lot of sensor data on their cloaking operations during the fight. It could give us an edge in future battles. But that's only if we have reliable sensors, which we currently do not. Hopefully, that's about to change. Okay, looks like the virus is out of the sensors. Let's turn them on. virus came back when the sensors came up. Uh, let's try again. What the? We just lost port to- Bridge to Captain. Cling on vessels decloaking. Lorca to bridge. I'm on my way. Captain, internal sensors show multiple Klingon transporter signals in your vicinity. All hands, repel borders. Look at a bridge. We need those shields back. Do what you can to keep our port side away from the Klingons. Kerwin, I want you to head up there and give them a hand with the shields. No, I think it's time we went on the offensive. Landry, Patel, lead the way. Chief, get us to the armory. On it. Captain to sickbay, we have wounded on deck 17. We're on our way, Captain. Take one of these phaser rifles. We just finished modifications on them from data we gathered during the Prior's World fighting. <laughs> the Klingons are in for a little surprise. Bridge to Captain. The Klingons hit the brig and released their buddies. Looks like they're heading toward the shuttle bay. They're gonna make a break for it, sir. Lorca to bridge, acknowledged. We're en route. To Pev, Landry, Patel, take the lead. Everyone else, you're with me. Let's move!
cover me. Del, put me a hand with this. There's no time. Captain, you need to go. That's not how we operate, Commander. We don't leave people behind. It's clear. Help her. I thought I lost you there. Fortunately, the captain had other ideas. Nice shot back there. Glad you had our backs. We need to move. Can you stand? Mm. Well, I'll manage. It's not as bad as it looks. Shuttle bay access is locked, and the hangar doors are starting to open. Oh, it's that damned Klingon virus again. Bridge, this is the captain. Prepare the tractor beam. Please be fair. It's even in the door systems. I'll handle this. Bam! Got it! Charge of our track. We are preparing to depart for our ass. Prepare for our arrival. Not today. Not on my ship. Change your plans. Kill their captain. Then we need. You'll have to get through me first. Lorca to bridge. The prisoners are secure. Give me a status report. Sir, the Klingon vessels just went under cloak. They'll be back. Count on it. We need to get the Klingon prisoners secured. Unfortunately, our holding facilities here are compromised. Under the circumstances, I think we'll need to transfer the prisoners to your ship. I think you'll agree we can't risk dropping our shields to use the transporters. You'll have to take a shuttle. It's a little old-fashioned, but if the Klingons are here to rescue their people, they won't risk firing on you. Your ship, on the other hand, will be a target. Be ready for anything. All right, these Klingons wanted to ride in a shuttle. Load them up. My team will handle the prison transfer to your vessel. I'll have our security chief contact yours to sort out the details. Excellent. Are you ready to finish boarding procedures and head out? Good, you made it. I'm afraid I have some bad news. We're picking up some photon decay heading our way. My people believe it's coming from cloaked Klingon vessels, and I'm inclined to agree. Get ready for a fight. All ships,
All ships, circle the wagon. Watch out for each other, and we'll get through this. Nice work, Captain. Looks like the Klingons aren't finished with us at Pryor's world. Glad you were in the neighborhood. Things could have gone pear-shaped if you weren't. I'm sure that'll look good in your after-action report. Might put a little dent in my sterling reputation, but I'll manage. That said, we're not out of the woods just yet. I'll let my first officer fill you in on the details. This is Landry. As you've seen, the Varan is needed here at Pryor's world. And her brig is no longer secure. I'm afraid your ship is going to have to facilitate this prison transfer. The destination is classified, I'm afraid. I have the coordinates in a secure device, which, with your permission, I'll bring aboard with my team. I don't disagree, Captain, but we're at war. Things have a tendency to get irregular in situations like this. Some of our prisoners are high-ranking members of the House Mokai. The secrets they know are important to the Klingons, even more so to Starfleet. We need to get them into a high security facility as soon as we can. I'd like to send Commander Landry and a team with you to assist on this. Call it a joint effort. But it's still your ship and your command. Agreed? Oh, and one last thing. Landry's on loan. She's a damn fine officer and one of a kind. I do expect her back intact as soon as you're done, Captain. The shuttle, on the other hand, you can keep. We got plenty of those. My team is on board, Captain. With your permission, I'll take the helm for this trip. I know the way, after all. We've arrived at the coordinates, Captain. We're being hailed. Your presence in this system is unexpected. Transmit secure clearance codes now. Await and transfer of codes. I should remind you that all of our defense systems are active, Captain. Vosker out. That he did, Captain. Shall I transmit the security clearance codes? Transmitting initial sequence? Now, Lieutenant Kerwin, begin beta security code transmission on my mark. Mark. Very much so, Captain. Possibly more than they enjoy oxygen and comfortable socks. <clears throat> transmission complete. 
The station is hailing us now. Shall I put them through? You're cleared for approach. Proceed to the following coordinates and prepare for prisoner transfer via shuttlecraft. Vosker out. A word, if you please. It's about Warden Vosker. I've served with him before, and there are some things about his character you should be aware of. Serving here allows Vosker to use methods and practices that would not fly on a starship. Some of his morals are fluid, perhaps dangerously so. Look, I'm not sure what Starfleet Command knows about him, but he still has command of the facility. Permission to... There are those in Starfleet who are more focused on results than the cost of achieving those results. Vosker is such a man. The Admiralty didn't order these prisoners here by chance. They want Vosker to get results by any means necessary. That doesn't work for me, or Captain Lorca. The ends do not justify the means. I intend to make sure the price we pay here isn't too great. I don't want to look back on this day with regret, or worse. My team has the prisoners prepped for transfer. Are you ready to head to the facility? Welcome to Facility 2047. I'm Hadrian Vosker. Computer, update the log to finalize the transfer of prisoners to this facility. Authorization Vosker Sigma 9. We'll take it from here. A reminder, all data relating to this facility is classified. Now, if there's nothing else, I have a prison to run. Feel free to show yourselves out. Thank you. Hadrian, it's been a long time not long enough. Was there anything of substance you wish to discuss, or are we done here? As in, according to Starfleet regulations, Hadrian, not your own personal code of conduct. Listen, we don't have to like each other. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's an impossibility at this point. What we need to do is work together and upholding the ideals and laws of the Federation. Are you finished? Look. The Federation is the promise of a better future. I buy into that. Beautiful dream. People love to talk about it. What nobody wants to talk about are the hard choices it takes to make that dream come true. Every day, Klingons remind us, though. And we pay the price in blood, sweat, and tears. So unless you're ready to learn some hard truths, I suggest you return to your ship and move along. Yeah, why don't you show us everything you do here, Warden? Enlighten us. Show us how you're keeping the Federation safe from all enemies, foreign and domestic. Hey, we'll even take notes. Wonderful. The prisoners are being processed. I'm sure they're being treated well. Better than the Klingons treated the innocent civilians of Pryor's world, for example. If you'll follow me. Johnson, give me a status report. I'm wrapping it up now, sir. Medical scans and contraband search all came back in the green. Warden, there's increased comms from the Starfleet vessel stationed at Pryor's World. It sounds like there's another fight with the Klingons there. I'm uh, not sure. Sorry, the signal's garbled. Some sort of interference is breaking it up, and I'm just getting fragments. So far, it sounds like the trouble is on the planet's surface. We have our orders, and no distress signal is being sent. 
That being said, I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I were back on the Moran, Captain. I've got the feeling the Klingons are about to make another big push of Briar's Fine. In the meantime, we have a job to do here. Johnson, put the Priority 2 prisoners into Gen 5. I'll make sure our Priority 1 guest gets into MagSec where he belongs. Captain, Commander, let's get this over with. Got a nice cell waiting for you, Mokai. Move! I'm not sure leaving the prisoners here with him was wise, Commander. What are you hens clucking about back there? Just wondering what you have in mind for our prisoners, Henry. Nothing the Admiralty hasn't authorized before. Johnson here. Operations reports a malfunction in primary systems and recommends a reboot. Johnson, contact engineering. And keep an eye on things until I'm finished. Oscar to engineering. The bridge to isolation is acting up. Fix it. Now. Fight. Now deal with these malfunctions. Understood, sir. Wait. What the... Sir, the primary deflector grid just went offline. Look out. Klingons. Johnson, initiate full lockdown, and get those shields back up, now! Johnson? Come in, Johnson! Damn, we've lost Cobb! They're coming. Are you ready? Let's get this over with. Touch it. <laughs> nice. Same to you, Haribach. Come on, stupid piece of work, damn it. Problem, Hadrian? I can't get the bridge to extend. We need to think of an alternative. That didn't sound good. We need to get out of here right now. For this, let him fall. It's just a Klingon. We are our fleet. Since you've obviously forgotten, that is not how we operate. Whatever. Let's get moving. Howdy, Buck. If we can't put the prisoner in one of these cells, we'll have to take him back to processing. It's not ideal, but it'll do till we get things under control. Show this guy quickly. Relax. His new home's right over here. And he's gonna be here a very long time. I believe you have something that belongs to me. 
Akar will be leaving with me. He's not going anywhere, lady. I'm in a... Ha! You were saying, if only you had sheaths to block our transporters. Our paths cross once again. If only I had the time to end you. Like I ended your captain. You two know each other? Try to die well. Ketris, for the truth! Wonderful. Cover me while I get the shields back oh, online. Kerwin, help him while we hold him off. Yes, ma'am. I'd hold off on any celebrations. Long-range sensors are picking up a Klingon battle group, approaching at high war. Without the turrets, they'll eventually knock our shields down and finish us off for good. Shit, it's only a matter of time. Lieutenant Kerwin can get those turrets back online. We just need to buy him enough time to get the job done. Maybe this isn't time for heroics. One ship against a Klingon fleet? That's suicide, you know it. Face it, we're done here. Let's get essential personnel to your ship and get the hell out of here while we're able. Captain, the turret grid just came back online. Wait. That's bad. The turrets are scanning for Starfleet vessels. They've been set to see them as targets. It's that damned virus. It's just like what happened at Pryor's World. They turned our own defense grid against us and then mopped up what was left after the chaos. How did a Klingon virus get into our system? Klingons didn't even know about this place until... Of course. Those clever bastards. It's a genetic sequencing virus. We did a full medical scan of the Klingon prisoners when we brought them aboard the Paran. Another one when they were brought aboard this facility. But... Fortunately, or your ship would be dealing with the virus too. Somehow they've managed to embed it within the DNA of one or more of the prisoners. We can identify the difference between artificial and natural bases. We should be able to isolate the viral code and purge it from the system. Maybe five minutes? Besides, if we get him and Jaula, 
We can just pretend it was all part of the plan, right? All right, all right. You win. But we still have a lot of work to do before, you know, we single-handedly end the war and get promoted to Fleet Admiral. So let's get up to your ship and go after them. Klingon vessels is hailing us. Starfleet vessel. You are outnumbered and unable to flee. If you wish your crew to survive, stand down and prepare to be boarded. Refuse, and we will give you all an honorable death. A warrior's death, then. Good. I wouldn't have it any other way. Perhaps we will meet face to face in glorious combat when I board your vessel to take it as my prize. Ships, with 
draw at once! Good news, Captain. Latest sensor reports show all Klingon vessels are either destroyed or retreating. I think we did it. Kerwin here. Captain, all systems are clear over here. Not reading any Klingon ships on sensors either. Did we do it? Captain, if it's all the same to you, I recommend we retrieve Lieutenant Kerwin and return to the Baran immediately. We haven't seen the last of Ja'ula and her forces, and there is a nasty digital virus still running wild in the brand systems. Seeing as we have the solution to that little problem, I think it's high time we've delivered it to Captain Lorca. Sounds like the Klingons are making another push in that sector. Securing Pryor's world is of the utmost importance, so I want you to render assistance to the Baran as soon as possible. I'm sending other vessels in the region to join the effort, but until they arrive, the burden will fall on your shoulders alone. Good luck and Godspeed. Kensington out. Congratulations, Lieutenant. This Klingon computer virus is giving me a bad feeling about things. With Ja'ula and House Mokai involved, I think we're looking at a serious new effort to capture or destroy high-value Starfleet targets, ships, personnel, even entire planets. Let's rendezvous with the Baran as fast as we're able. That virus is already in her systems, and after what we just dealt with, I'm guessing the Klingons aren't done with my ship just yet. <laughs>